Yo, what is up guys, this is Pedro here, and today we got some pretty bad news. Washington offensive lineman Sadiq Charles will undergo season-ending knee surgery on Tuesday. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video, and remember, check out House of Hoodies, use code Pedro for 15% off. So let's get into it. Obviously, this is bad, uh, really bad news. I'll read the whole thing right here. So Washington offensive lineman Sadiq Charles will undergo season-ending uh, knee surgery. The promising fourth-round draft pick dislocated his kneecap on his second NFL snap and hoped to rehab. Instead, he'll have surgery and should be on track for minicamp. So I guess they're being cautious with this and making sure he makes a full recovery. But again, this is just terrible. I mean, the guy barely played this year at all. I mean, he like the guy said, like Tom Pelissero said, he played two snaps and dislocated his knee. He also, in training camp, got hurt with a bunch of, you know, calf and foot injuries. And this is just, again, uh, another young player. And, you know, he was he was one of my favorite draft picks on this team. Besides Chase and Gibson, I mean, he was, one, he was probably my favorite pick. And, you know, he looked like he was going to be a good player. And even in those first two snaps, he did pretty good. And I'll read what Ben Standig uh, said, too. He had a little bit of a more... Um, you know, and now a little bit more analysis. He said, um, additional opinions led to the decision would have required surgery at the end of the season to deal with the ligament, get heads, he'll get a head start on a two to four month recovery period. So I guess it does make sense because let's say it is a three month recovery period or even more then that could possibly hinder him from being ready for mini camp for next year. But still, I would have really liked to see um, what he could have done this year. He also said the fourth round pick from LSU dislocated his kneecap in week six, two plays into his first NFL start. This after a calf injury wiped out uh, his training camp and the early part of the season, possibly 2021 20, start at guard or tackle. So yeah, we're going to see. I mean, I think no doubt if he's healthy, he's a starter for this team. I mean, uh, I think he's going to be a good player. He just has to stay healthy. That's the thing with him. He has to stay healthy. And, you know, out of trouble off the field because that's what uh, caused him to fall in the draft. So if he can do that, I think he can be a good starter. Going to be interesting to see if they see him more as a guard or a tackle. And we'll probably know that in free agency. And, yeah, we'll see. That's going to be interesting um, to see. But, again, guys, it, it does really suck because he was probably our most promising rookie um, besides Gibson and Chase Young. But, you know, he, I mean, you could argue he had a chance to be better than Gibson this year because he has some good potential. And, you know, this rookie class is still OK with Chase Young and Gibson. But, I mean, uh, you know, our fourth round picks, AGG, wasn't playing good before the injury, but, you know, uh, has had a sideline for a while. He's been sidelined for a while. And then now a uh, Sadiq Charles, Keith Ismail and um, Kalik Hudson have barely played at all. And then... Um, our seventh round picks actually have done pretty good, but we'll see. I'm going to be interested to see, like I said, what he plays, if he plays guard or tackle. And I do think he has very good potential. He, you know, he's pretty strong. He's, um, got quick feet. He's got that soccer background. So he has good footwork and I'm going to be, uh, I'm excited to see what he can do and hopefully, um, he can produce whether that's left tackle or left guard because we already know Morgan Moses is going to be our right tackle. And then we'll see about Chase Roulier and uh, Brandon Schiff if we resign them. And then the rest is either Cornelius Lucas, Jerron Christian, or Sadiq Charles at those other uh, left guard and left tackle positions, even Wes Martin if they think he is um, doing better. So again, we can't really, I mean, we've had so many, not crazy injuries. I think it's a little bit less than usual, but we have had, you know, Matt Ioannidis out for the year after the first three games, Landon Collins out for the year, Kyle Allen out for the year, Sadiq Charles out for the year. So, I mean, those are what four starters on this team that we lost to do injury for the whole season. Um, and we've had some other players dealing with injuries. So it's unfortunate, but again, a lot of player, a lot of teams have been dealing with injuries. So it's no excuse. It just sucks that, you know, it's a young player and, you know, they need this time to develop. So, um, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. I know it sucks, but at least he's going to be fully back 
to um, he's going to be fully back before mini camp, and he's going to be able to get some work in before then. And because you don't want him to be, you know, somewhat healthy going into mini camp, and he re-aggravates that um, injury. So this should be um, helping him out because he would have had to get this in or surgery no matter what. And if he would have gotten it, it would have been after the season. And hey, maybe they think you know we're not going to make the playoffs, or it's going to be hard for us to make the playoffs. So uh, there's no reason in having him risk this. Uh, injury to you know get worse so yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video second video of the day if you did not watch my other video i posted a cam sims video um also i'm not sure why the quality of my videos is lower something maybe with my editing software i will try to fix that peace